Well, good morning, Dartfish friends. It is shakedown time here at Rally Japan. That is Yoni Holton and Callie Rovenpera. First car into the shakedown stage. Morning, boys. All good this morning? Yes. Feeling good. Everyone happy? Callie looks good as always. We'll leave them to it. It's very late. Let's let these guys crack ahead. Yeah, I tried to finish before Callie. <laughs> Oh, he's a funny lad, he really is. We do enjoy him. Look at this here. Elliot, have a look round here. You know, everywhere we go, we're reminded of Craig, aren't we? Uh, isn't that lovely? Um, really lovely. Jeez, still at times, still at times very, very hard to believe. Right, let's have a look round here. Now, it's a tarmac rally, soft and hard compounds. Wet tyres are an option as well, I would imagine. It's going to be very, very interesting because we are expecting some very, very heavy rain tomorrow, maybe as well into Saturday morning. But my understanding is that the choice for tyres, I think it comes tonight, but we'll double check that with Thierry. Terry, you're having a good look at the tyres that Cali had on there. Tyre choice could be a big thing this weekend, couldn't it? Uh, it depends on the weather, yeah. When do you have to select your tyres for tomorrow? Is it tonight or do you have that option tomorrow morning? Uh, no, tomorrow morning. That could be really, really interesting, couldn't it? Because we are expecting some heavy rain. What are you hearing about that? <coughs> yeah, there will be some rain at some point. So I think for tomorrow morning, the tyre choice won't be so difficult. Feeling good this morning? Yeah, OK. Always, as always, he's always feeling good. He's an athlete, one of the most uh, fittest lads out there. There's Martin. Lovely to see him this morning. Good morning, Martin. I do like his hat. Look at this. I, it's beautiful. All right, Tanak putting a little bit of heat into those tires. Uh, are these, what are these? Are they chrysanthemums? I'm not sure. Martin, I love your new helmet design. It's absolutely beautiful. Everyone knows me, loves it. I know a little bit of pink. What are these flowers? Cherry blossoms. The cherry blossoms, Japanese cherry blossoms. That's beautiful. Who designed it? Partly myself and a designer. Wow, it's beautiful. That's a lovely helmet, it really is. Look at the colors, the blues, the pinks, the golds. He's a stylish man, young Martin. He really, Martin, he really is. Okie dokie. A little bit of a calm before the storm. Shakedown, just to let you know, is just the other side of these trees. We may hear them as they head into the stage. They literally run down a valley on the other side of the trees here towards what is a big open park. Lots of spectators out already this morning. As you can see, look at this. <laughs> they go to such enormous efforts in Japan. They are, here we go, watch this. It still gets me. They are outrageously noisy, these cars. It absolutely gets the blood pumping. It gets the hairs on the back of the neck and on the forearms standing up. It's incredible to see these cars on the road sections, never mind on the stages themselves. Let's see who else we can grab a word with, though. Well, hey, that was Oji heading that way. Let's see if we can catch up with him. back along the road towards Shakedown. That is Oit Tanak and Martin Yardo who are about to make their way in towards the Shakedown stage. Getting themselves together. Let's have a look. A brace. A brace of Toyotas behind. Keeping well out of the way. Well, sorry, Vincent just doing his usual checks on the tyre pressure. Seb getting himself together. It's all rather narrow, but they're doing a lovely job. Around about 12, 13 k's from the service park here. The service park, don't forget, Toyota City Stadium. Have a look at that. We've got a wonderful super special within the stadium itself to kick things off later this evening. That's a new feature for this year. Seb getting himself together. We'll let him just head off. Morning, Aaron Johnson. Hello, Colin Clark. How are you this morning? Great, how are you? You're never anything other than great, are you? That's it, but sure, we're living the dream. We are living the dream, we really are. Um, you've been here since what, the weekend? Friday morning. 
Friday morning and enjoying it. I mean, I know it's a lot of pressure for your driver, isn't it? But for you, do you get the chance to enjoy it a little bit? Yeah, for sure. It's always nice to come here for Takis home rally and the team's home rally. So, Is that a new helmet? Brand new. Oh, I've got to speak to a very quick word with Takis, Aaron. Have you got a new one, Aaron? No. Takis, beautiful, the helmet. Really beautiful. Who's designed it? Huh? Who designed the helmet? Uh, Ufe. It looks wonderful. Best of luck. Is that a winning helmet this weekend? Who knows? Looks great, doesn't it? So, Seb Ogier getting himself together. Takasan and Aaron getting themselves together. And we will go and see who else we might be able to find. on from the road section we've come around into the stage actually it's just up there underneath that big flyover bridge uh, to our right uh, we moved on this is remote service now shakedown it really depends on where the service area is in relation to the shakedown stage sometimes they'll go back to the main service area sometimes like this morning you have the option and it is an option of a remote shakedown service so you can quite clearly see here Hyundai have taken that option they've brought a few of their engineers up here a few of the mechanics and any changes they have to make between runs they will do that here M Sport have done the same thing they're a little bit further up that way interestingly Toyota have decided to go back to the main service area they did the same thing at the CER if you remember they had the option there for remote service Toyota decided against that so what might they do here well you know you can see they're maybe changing damper settings they might change the tires around start on the softs go on to the hard compound tires you know it is uh, it is just the opportunity the final opportunity to get a little feel for different setups for different tires on these japanese roads no testing on the long haul event so it's the you know for the likes of esa becca Lappi, for danny sordo who didn't get an awful lot of time in the car last year it's a good opportunity just to familiarize themselves with these sorts of roads with a feeling on these roads so yeah it's a remote service we'll see whether we can catch up with any of the drivers that we missed on that road section this morning Danny Sordo looking magnificent as always Esapeka Lappi we didn't catch up with him on the road section let's see whether we can grab a very quick word with EP he's had one run of shakedown good morning Esapeka had one run through shakedown this morning how did it feel yeah <laughs> quite quite okay it was like blast from the past I had no intercom so fully blind you know like in the when I was starting the the rally so yeah it was quite funny but okay it was a short stage so and that issue's easily resolved yeah you've got to the bottom of what that is you've changed the leads whatever it might be uh, yeah we, we already did that but the bro uh, the helmet is broken it seems so we need to wait another helmet now. now you weren't here last year so this is your first taste of the Japanese tarmac what can you feel? What can you learn from such a short shakedown stage? Um, well, it's sort of twisty as well. So at least you, you get an idea how the car will hand, handle on these twisty corners. Um, grip wise, yeah, for sure. We will have similar grip levels during the weekend. But I guess tomorrow will be much more slippery than this one. So so we cannot really count, count too much on the setup on over for, for let's say for this one uh, so we need to keep in mind that it's probably too creepy at the moment uh, but yeah just the basic handling the rotation that's that's the most important you looking forward to it well it's it's a big challenge but yeah sure it's like something that you've got more and more comfortable on over the years isn't it i mean you know maybe when you started your career we did said you were a gravel driver but now you're equally as capable on tarmac as you are on gravel is that reasonable to say that yeah i, I think when the car suits me we can do good things yeah and and now we for the previous rally we managed to get this car 
on the settings that I, I can really drive with that. So, so yeah, 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 feeling good. Yeah, we saw that, didn't we, last time? Best of luck. We want this man to do well here this weekend. Best of luck. He was remarkably comfortable, remarkably confident, remarkably fast through those opening stages at CER. We'll forget what happened after that. Esapegalapi, let's see what he can do this weekend. Podium? Absolutely possible. Absolutely possible. Ooh, now, we've moved along towards M Sport. Adrian Formo, how good is it to see Adrian back in a Rally 1 car? Another driver tasting, sampling the Japanese tarmac for the first time this morning. Having a quick word with Alex. Adrian, bonjour, mon ami. Ça va? Ça va. Le premier spécial, comment c'était? Le premier spécial, euh, voilà, faut se dérouiller un peu de la, de la rallye, mais sinon ça va. <laughs> oh, I just about managed the question. I'm not going to translate the answer. How are you feeling this morning, Adrian? Um, a little bit excited, a little bit nervous, a little bit apprehensive, maybe a bit of everything, or just looking forward to it? No, I just want to enjoy my time, actually. Uh, it's my present for my season, so actually I just want to enjoy it and make the best we can do for sure, but uh, I just want to, to enjoy every every mile. And, uh, and let's see, maybe prepare for next year, so we don't know, so so we need to we need to have a good one. You preparing for next year with the team? Is, it, is that what you to drive in the Rally One? So I want to go back in the Rally One. So it's yeah, a, she it's, does. It's a good mileage for next year if I'm back. If I'm not, then I still get the experience. We'd love to see you back. That is for sure. Listen, you you weren't here last year. This is your first look at the tarmac here in Japan. Could you learn a lot from the pass through there? Is there much you can take from this morning? Well, compared to the video I've seen from last year, um, there was much more leaves, as every drivers are, are saying. Uh, but I, was ex I wasn't expecting the, that much leaves on the shakedown. The aero of the cars is really bringing a lot of leaves on the middle of the road. And in some parts, you, you, you just have the car losing the grip completely because of the leaves. So it's quite, it's quite surprising sometimes, so we need to be careful with that. What's interesting is the organizers said they would try and clean some of those leaves away. You've got to know where that is. They did. I think they did, but if they do it and if it's still side of the road with the aero of, the, of our car, it just bring everything behind. So, so yes, I think for the first car it will be, but not for the last one. It's going to be a really challenging weekend because we're expecting some weather tomorrow as well. It just makes it that little bit more difficult. You've got to concentrate that much more harder. Yeah, it will be a big, big challenge tomorrow. Normally the rally is already a challenge. We always hear the drivers say it's a challenging rally, but I think with the lead it will be something we haven't seen this season. So it will be really, really interesting to see, but difficult. We are going to watch with interest. The very best of luck. Bon chance, Adrian. Merci. Yes, great to see him back, and it is, as he said, it's, um, you know, it's, I'm going to say a prize, a reward, it's, it's, it's what he deserves after such a fantastic season in the Rally 2 car, remarkable performance at the CER, coming from, what, 15th, I think he was, at one point, to win emphatically at CER, uh, he's a better driver, a way better driver than he was 12 months ago, will we see him in a Rally 1 car next year? I think there has to be every chance, there has to be every chance, um, We've seen it many times. We saw it with Tanak. We saw it with Evans. We've seen it with drivers in the past. You know, sometimes you need just a little bit of a reset. Sometimes that's a 12-month reset. So, uh, for more, what can he do? What can he do with the experience he has learned in the British Rally Championship in that Rally 2 car this year? Uh, it's up to him now. He's got the opportunity. Let's see what he can do. Well, we've moved on yet again from the remote service area to the stage itself. Really cracking little spot this. The cars come down through the trees. It's a very tight gully down to a roundabout. What do they do on roundabouts? What are roundabouts made for, Holly? Donuts. Oh, they really are. <laughs> it's fun though, isn't it? And it's, it's great to see. They're a very respectful bunch, the Japanese spectators, aren't they? For sure. You can see everyone sort of just making sure they're fitting in between other people's heads. Lots of stools, lots of chairs. I love it. We're going to take a closer look at the chairs in a little while, but I love that. I love the chairs, the stools. But, oh, here we are. Who's this? Who have we got? It's a Hyundai. It is Sordo, number six. Oh, it's Danny Sordo. Make the most of watching Danny Sordo this weekend. Who knows whether he'll be back next year. Uh, you know, he's a fantastic driver. He's a fantastic character, isn't he? Oh, amazing. He's just such a kind-hearted person and he sort of lights up the service park in a way, doesn't he? He does, he does, he really does. Ah, there we are. So, um, that's the donut. This is the wonderfully respectful Japanese crowd. But we mentioned chairs. Have a look. Have a look at the variety. These people have been down to buy their Mag Cruise this morning. They've left the label on it. Uh, well, let's wander along a little bit. No, actually, look at this one here. I like this one. But uh, you wouldn't be... Look, look at that one there. That's completely portable, lightweight, portable, the perfect rally stool that is, the perfect rally stool. 
Uh, but what you need when you've got crowds, you need to get above the crowds, don't you? So these gentlemen here, here we go. How does one get above the crowds? This could be mine. It could be mine because it's pink. Am I, can I stand on your thing? Thank you. So you have to ask first, obviously. There we are. Yes. Oh, my goodness me. I have a lovely view. Hello. There. It's lovely up here, sir, isn't it? Beautiful up. I'm going to watch as the cars come round, Elliot, because why should I come down now? I've come up. A uh, gentleman there. Now, these are different stools. Look at these ones here that they've got. Nice and lightweight. Not as nice as mine. Not as high as mine. Yeah, but he's got his colour coded with his pants, his shoes, and his box on the bottom there. It's colour coded. That's quite remarkable. That's quite remarkable. Someone drinking champagne? That's very civilised, sir. That is awfully civilised. And a little bit of breakfast as well. A little bit of breakfast there. Champagne. They've got the cooler. That's the way to do rallying, isn't it? Oh, and there are rally cars. It's perfect. OK, here we go. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. That's a lovely stool, that is. I'd take that if I could. Let's have a look at the, the chairs here. Cameras. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at the size of these lenses. They love their photography in Japan. You know, some of the best camera brands in the world are made here in Japan. Uh, look at the length of that one there. My goodness me. What have we got? Fujis, Nikons, iPhones. We've got look at this thing here. That's absolutely lovely. Is that a Sigma lens on that one? I think it is. And I tell you what, with those lenses, with those cameras, they'll be getting some very decent photos. So, uh, Holly, shake down. You've, yes. en you've enjoyed your little adventure. It's always a little bit fluid where we go, but have you enjoyed it? Yeah, no, it's been great so far. Starting to hear the familiar sounds of rallying. It's all getting quite exciting. The sights, the smells of rallying, the sounds of rallying. It's going to be a great, great weekend here in Japan. It's all kicked off beautifully in the sunshine. Big question, though, heading into tomorrow is just how long is this big yellow globe going to be in the sky for? We'll find out. We'll find out tomorrow morning. See you later on.